Hey my fire signs, this is going to be your weekly message or whenever you do come across the reading. Keep in mind I have um, shuffled the cards for you specifically and I've asked for love, protection, and guidance throughout this reading and throughout the week. So let's get right into it. These are the first two cards that I've pulled ahead of time. So the Seven of Cups and the priestess so what we are starting off the week with is the four of cups is all about choices and when it's piggybacked with the uh, high priestess this is pre this is um choices that have been manifested so keep in mind what you've manifested has come into light in so many different avenues and if you look at the card let me blow it up real quick or bring it closer each cup there is different, very different from the next. Um, but the thing that stands out to me the most is that um, because of how different they are, look at, really look at what's involved. There's a castle, there's a head, there's um, what looks like it could be a ghost or a spirit, serpents that, you know, you get the gist. But if you've manifested these cups, keep in mind, like, you chose these cups so whatever the cups are is what you've asked the universe for now sometimes we ask the universe for things and we don't know um or realize that that we are calling in this um so i'm going to give you examples so we've called in some stressful avenues here or we've called in some really fun avenues or uh, new business opportunities and things like that so remember whatever cups are in your whatever cups have been offered to you you have asked for so keep in mind and and notice to this week or whenever you stumble upon this reading that whatever cups that are in front of you right now you have asked the universe for knowingly or unknowingly okay you guys and the way to choose the things that you really really want um, is to only have the highest and best good for yourself while thinking of the future. Even in the present, but when you're thinking of the future, think of how you want to see your business, how you want to see your workspace, how do you want to see your relationship, um, and only have those positive thoughts towards it, like the end result. What do you want that end result to look like? That is the biggest thing I could tell you about how to manifest what you're wanting um, and then to try to keep no resistance to it. Like just when you choose that thing that you are wanting, you can um, ask for it and then pick out exactly what you want down to like down to and anything down to the toilet paper. And um, at the end, know, just know in your heart that you are good with it or without it. It'll come to you as it's divinely timed, okay? So it'll come when you're ready for that thing. Sorry, so going back into your cups here. Um, so the manifestation of the cups. Now, what is coming up is the page of wands. So, oops, excuse me. So the page of wands is here. And I take this as someone who's coming in with um, either ideas or guidance towards the cup that you're thinking of of your choice. Now the cards did not pick out a card. The cards did not pick out a cup choice for you, but that is okay because whatever you have chosen to go down the path you've chosen to go down, somebody, either a friend, a coworker, a family member, um, is going to have some advice for you. So um, don't be nervous about what you're choosing because whatever you're choosing is perfect for you right now. Uh, and then that that advice is going to lead to some four of wands action here, which is about a celebration. This can be so usually you see this card and it comes up in um, love readings, but I'm not taking this for a love reading because I do those separately. This is more about having a stable foundation, having having solid ground for something that is starting. Um, but you do have an have a little bit of anxiety, worry about this new venture. Now remember, the, the cup that you chose up here is manifested by you. There's no need to be scared about where you're going because you chose this. It You know, everything is going to unfold just the way you want it to. Does that make sense? So 
remember, you're manifesting more anxiety here. So to try not to do that, I know it's easier said than done, but your next card is the Queen of Cups. So what they're asking you is to get more emotionally stable, more grounded over what you are currently from here anxiety to getting into that queen of wands energy um how you can do that is meditation you can do journaling you can go outside and go for a walk you can sing whatever lights you up what some for some people it's even washing dishes and just getting in the zone of of actually zoning out doing your dishes get you in a clearer clearer mind frame so that you can get back into this like um well, I don't even know what to call it, like a, like a, like a no zone. Let's call it a no zone. Just because um, when you're doing something that you can zone out, that helps you get back to like a clearer state. And you can actually hear your spirit guides in these moments for guidance. And you can ask for guidance during that time. <clears throat> the two of wands. Now the two of wands is here. Um, so after trying to get into that balance mode, this is actually asking you to take some time to step back. Um, you can either get out, in, like I said, into nature and try to get balanced that way. Sometimes we need to take a trip or a little day trip to get out of our own headspace. Now with the seven of wands here, now this is something not to get scared about, but the seven of wands is... Um, holding your ground, speaking your truth, saying what you need and what you want, and people not agreeing with you. Now that's sounds like a like a them problem and not a you problem because anything that you choose for your life is going to be um, the best thing for you. You can't make anyone um, <clears throat> you can't make anyone happy with your decisions. You just have to change the way that they. I mean, you can't really change anyone's thought process, right? So you have to do what is right for you is all I'm trying to say here. Let me get these in order. Sorry. All right. So what I'm trying to tell you here with this seven of wands is uh, your perspective is important and is needed because it's your life and you have to do what is right for you, not for the other person. Yes, it sucks if it's a family member who doesn't understand your point of view. But you know what? It's all gravy because when you do that, you're speaking your truth, you're speaking your mind, you're standing up for yourself, and that brings in the uh, Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is showing that you're, because, okay, so Wands equal fire, right? This fire. Um, and um, your fiery energy is being shown to you, and it's being shown that, yes, it's a good thing. Yes, you are needing to share your voice and that is the most important takeaway out of this whole reading is sharing your voice is definitely needed because if you don't share your voice how do you know how much strength you really give and put out there the eight of wands so the eight of wands is definitely letting you know that this fiery energy from the ace of wands is going to be coming in more so as well through um communication this can be through emails phone calls um, voicemails from others there's going to be a discussion and i'm not picking up that it's a bad discussion i'm picking up that it is going to be a fruitful discussion a discussion about how we can create a better surroundings how we can create a better um, opportunity for everyone and this shows your strength so and you know all of this is coming down to i'm starting to get the vibe that from your choices that you've had way in the beginning here going through the, what you've manifested going through into your solid ground and solid beginnings having some anxiety getting back into your stable emotional state oops let's see if i can pull these out taking that time to get centered again may having to speak up because if this let's just say this is a new position like your cup is a new position at work or a new job you know people need to know and find out who who you really are you have to speak up for yourself sometimes when you get a new position at work or uh, to new family members or family members and friends in general but that brings in some great opportunities and being able to create this this type of work area that you want to be in or home life or relationship um 
but it's definitely needed and it'll end up being a great thing for everyone involved. So this is a general reading for the masses. This will resonate for some, <clears throat> may not resonate for all. So if you do need a private reading, please reach out to me either in the comments, I'll try to look at the comments or um, hit the link in my bio, or I'm sorry, in the description, and I'll be more than happy to help you with a private reading. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you guys.